Hi everyone, this is Caleb, and I'm going to be showing you how to make glass today. Now this is going to be more of a glass for a window, rather than a glass with an index of a fraction. Uh, I found that when making windows, uh, I got some unwanted index of a fraction that just made it look not like a window, and distorted everything inside. Uh, so I'm going to show you two ways to get that transparent glass without distortion in Blender 2.8x, whatever version you're in. Alright, so the first method is pretty simple. Right here I've loaded in a UV sphere and I've also loaded in an HGRI so we can get some more realistic uh, lighting and reflections here. So what we're going to do is go over to the shading tab, get rid of the principled shader, and we're going to add in a glass. Just plug that right into the surface. So as you can see here, the index or refraction is actually giving us something that we don't want, which is all this distortion here. It actually flipped the image upside down. Uh, and to get rid of that, uh, we're going to want to go over to the Scene tab here, go to Film, Enable Transparent, and then Transparent Glass. So first thing you'll notice is that it gets rid of the uh, HGRI image in the background so that when you render it out, you won't actually see the image in the background, just the reflections in the glass. Uh, secondly, it got rid of the uh, distortion that we don't want and made it actually uh, more see-through. See if I turn it off, uh, it doesn't look very see-through. It looks kind of like a, uh, a crystal orb that a psychic might have. We turn it on and it looks more like how you would expect uh, like actual glass to be. Now the second method, even though it's more complicated, is a little bit more versatile in situations where you might want to have that distortion in the glass in other glass textures but not in one specific one. So you're able to have uh, two different types of looking glass in one scene. Uh, also if you want to keep your background uh, HGRI in, uh, you won't have to actually get rid of that. So we're going to pop over to the shading tab and add in a light path. Then we're going to get two math nodes by just typing in math. And then on the light path, we're going to mix the shadow ray and diffuse ray on this first one here. And then we're going to take this glossy ray, mix it into the second one, and then mix this first uh, math node into the second one. Now all this is doing is just taking these three shadow, diffuse, and glossy rays and mixing them into just one value that we can output. Next we're going to want to get two nodes, the glossy and transparent nodes. Then mix them with a mix shader. And then in the fact here we're going to want to add in a Fresnel, which you can get by just hitting shift A and then searching Fresnel, F-R-E-S-N-E-L, kind of confusing spelling. Then set the Fresnel to a factor of 40. All right, next we're going to add in another mix shader, then connect the first mix shader to the second one, and then the transparent to the second one as well. Then we're going to take the output of this math node and connect it to the fact here. Now this right here is the finished uh, node setup. Once we plug it in, Boom, we have this glass here. Now it looks a little bit rough compared to the uh, first method, but what we can do here is uh, just turn down the roughness, get a little bit more shiny and reflective here. Now even though this is a little bit more of a setup, I do prefer this method better because one, I get to keep my HDR background if I need it, and also uh, I can change the roughness of the glass if I need to. And here is a side-by-side uh, -side comparison of the two methods. Uh, this first one right here, uh, this one is using the uh, big node setup, and then uh, this one right here on the right, uh, this one is just using the glass and then uh, the transparent glass feature. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.